Hello everyone, for those who don't know me, my name is Oriole Master, also known as the Gumbies, and uh, I'm going to be making a Spell Steel and Decurs video for Season 2 of Dragonflight. I made one in Season 1, um, and it was definitely helpful for those who used it, uh, wanting going over all the decurses and Spell Steels and all the keys, um, and I thought I'd do it again for Season 2. Um, I have fallen a little bit behind on my videos this season, just because I haven't enjoyed the content as much, um, but I'm gonna start trying to get back into it a little bit, especially with 10.1.5 coming around and new Frost Mage rework. Um, so I'm gonna go be going over all of the decurses and spell steals in the keys, not including any of the affixes, um, but those obviously are additional things that can help you run these two spells. Um, so, uh... Add on that I'm going to be using to show all of these mobs that have these spells is going to be Mythic Dungeon Tools, commonly known as MDT. Uh, and I'm just going to go through all the dungeons and tell you all of the spell steals and decurses that uh, you should be using, ones that are basically mandatory, uh, ones that would benefit you, ones that benefit your party, and others that are just useful as like a dispel. Um, so we'll start with Halls, Halls of Infusion. There are two different mobs in spells in uh, Halls of Infusion that will you can spell steal something off of. Spell Steel is actually the only one that's needed in Halls of Infusion, um, and so these two mobs are the Primeless Shock Trooper, uh, which you don't get to them until after the first boss, and you get them no matter what side you go to, um, and you also get them in the big pack here. The spell that they cast is called Elemental Focus. If this gets off, it gives them Infused Lightning and then makes Lightning Blast hit every other target. Uh, as well as you, so instead of it just hitting one target, it hits everybody. This is basically a must spell steal if the cast gets off. Um, however, it does give you the buff itself, but you can't do anything with this. Um, but if this cast does get off, which it shouldn't because you should have interrupts set up for it, um, but if it does, this is something that is basically a must spell steal, or especially on like fortified keys, this will wipe the group. Um, the second one in this that I would highly recommend using spell steal for, especially on fortified weeks, is Infuser Surya. Uh, this is the last mob in the gauntlet at the end of the key, um, and I would highly recommend using Spell Steel for the Aqueous Barrier, or however you say it. Um, so what happens is anytime they, they'll do an Inundate cast, and then they'll follow that with an Aqueous Barrier cast, and then after the barrier is casted, they'll do another Inundate. Um, and Inundate is the one that just does the AoE damage to everybody. Uh, you can't LOS it or anything. Um, if you can let the Aqueous Barrier spell get off, you can spell steal the, the barrier, and it basically makes the healer have one less person that they actually have to heal. The barrier will always last until the next Inundate cast, um, so you'll always get value from one Inundate cast, so it basically makes every other Inundate the healer only have to heal four people instead of three. Um, so this is a big time, not really a time save, but a huge thing for, especially on Fort Weeks, when Inundate actually will do like 90% of your health on high Fort Keys. Um, so this is very helpful to your healer to give them a little bit more breathe room with healing other people. Um, so those are the only two in Halls of Infusion. There are no decurses in Halls of Infusion. Obviously there are some, I'll, I'll go into a little, a little bit at the end, but the affixes that you might want to take these in as well. Um, but right now I'm just going to be focusing on the dungeon ones. Now in Brackenhide, there is two different mobs that have spells that you can spell steal. Um, and there is no decurses in this key. Um, so the first one is going to be the first boss, Crick Totem. They have a spell called Greater Healing Rapids. Um, it will cast on the lowest health boss at the time. Um, I would highly recommend, especially in groups that have like a low amount of kicks, you can let this cast get off because you can spell steal it. And it also heals you yourself. Uh, so this is something that's actually spell stealable instead of just something that's a dispel. Um, so especially in groups where you're running like a Shadow Priest Boomy and you don't have like a Paladin or like Shaman Healer or something like that. Allowing this cast to go through and just kicking the earth bolts is very beneficial. Um, just let these go through and you can spell steal it yourself. Uh, and as I said, it's also beneficial to you because you get to you actually get the healing from this. The second mob that has spell steals in this key are the vile rot hexers, or the, uh, yeah, the vile rot hexers that are at the end of the key. Um, in MDT, for some reason, most of them don't show the spells, and they don't actually show what it is properly. But there's basically two different spells. One of them is uh, Decay Infusion, which is a 20%, uh, you do 20% increased magic damage, but you also take 30% increased damage. Uh, and then the other spell is Siphon Decay, which it basically increases the physical damage they deal by 5%. Um, so obviously the first one, the Decay Infusion, is a very beneficial one for us with the downside of the damage taken. Um, 
typically I don't really worry about spell stealing these too much because they're they're pretty minimal. Um, but also the ride hexers are typically mobs that you'll skip a vast majority of the time. Um, I don't pull them in many of the keys that I've done, uh, other than like one or two of them, and you should be able to. Like the the siphon to decay doesn't really matter. The five percent physical damage and the other one I've I've rarely seen it. Um, the increased damage one, the the can fusion. Um, but yeah, those are the only two spell steals for Brackenhide. Again, I would highly recommend spell stealing the greater healing rapids and not kicking that, if, especially if you have low kicks in your group. And then vile rat hexers, they have the two spells. I typically don't really worry too much about them; they're not that big. Um, but yeah, the next key I'll go into is Alderman. Alderman has probably the most that you'll have to be going through, considering it has both spell steals and D curses. The spell steals in this key are on the Vicious Basilisk. Basilisk? Wow, I cannot say that. Uh, they have Spiked Carapace, which basically they'll cast it, and if it's, they get the cast off, um, they'll basically get something that will inflict nature damage to anybody that attacks them. Um, and so this is basically a must spell steal or dispel on Fort Weeks, uh, because this hurts a lot, and especially in a lot of these pulls, there's multiple Basilisks in them. Um, and all of them, they can either stagger their cast or be all synced up. But if you're not interrupting these and these cast gets off, these are something that you basically will have to spell steal on higher fort keys. It's obviously beneficial to spell steal them on tyrannical keys as well, but not as required. But I always take my time and I try to spell steal all of these because it's a lot of outgoing damage that you can't really help. You do also get the spiked carapace on yourself, uh, so if you're getting attacked, that also does the damage back, but it's very minimal compared to the damage that would be outgoing to you from the basilisks. The next mob that has a spell steal in this key are the earthen warders. Um, so it's these these mobs right here. Um, it's basically all on the end of the key. Most of them are in this general area, and then after the um, after Emberon boss, but these earthen warders have both. Um, Something to spell steal and decurse, but I'll just go through all the spell steals right now. <laughs> the Earthen Ward is a stackable shield that you can get. Um, I believe it's stackable. It's a pretty massive shield, as you see from the, the tooltip here. It's a 160k shield. Um, so if you're not kicking those, which I wouldn't really recommend, if you have a mage in the group, you can spell steal them because then, you know, when they're doing the hail of when the other mobs are doing hail of stone, you don't actually need the healing from this. Um, so these are pretty big things to spell steal, and again, they're stackable. After the Earthen Warders is Infinite Agents at the end of the key, so it's everything after in this area. These Earthen, er, these Infinite Agents cast Hasten, which is basically a personal lust. I would highly recommend telling your groups to let these caskets off so that you can spell steal them. Um, they are also stackable, so like in this pull right here, you're typically going to pull like these three mobs together. You can either kick one hasten or or just le or not at all. You can actually spell steal both of the hastens and get both buffs. Uh, it is a relatively short buff; it's 12 seconds. So by the time you get the spell steal off, you probably have 10 seconds left. But it is a very sizable buff. It increases your haste by 30% and movement speed. Uh, and then after the infinite agents are the infinite time reavers. They have the stolen time, which is a stacking uh, buff that they have on themselves that um, increases the caster's haste and reduces the haste on you so when they cast it and inc increases theirs and reduces yours as well as puts a dot on you uh when you spell steal this you actually only get one buff from them but it dispels all of their buffs so when they get to you know five six buffs you can spell steal it um and it'll obviously remove all the buffs that go back to zero and you'll get one stack of it it is a very short buff because i think it's only yeah it's only six seconds here um but it's very beneficial to just kind of like reset their stacks and make sure they don't have much haste especially on fortified weeks because um, it'll help the tank survive these, mo these mobs. <laughs> now, there's also D curses in this key uh, on these earthen orders. It's the Curse of Stone. If this is ever casted on somebody, it's ki it's kind of like a dot that takes, I want to say it's five times before it actually freezes them. Um, but the Curse of Stone has the, it'll have a little debuff that counts down, that'll count like one, two, three, four, five. And on the fifth one, when the fifth one hits, at least I think it's five, uh, the, basically the mob. Your target gets frozen for uh, like f five seconds and also has like an AOE around them. Uh, so I would highly recommend dispelling this with Decurse. This is basically like a must dispel. Uh, I always take dispel in this queue no matter what, just in case this gets off. Obviously, this is an interruptible spell, um, but I would very much 
recommend taking Deekers just in case one of these gets off. Now for the next key, it's Nelthros. Um, this is a key where you can use both Spell Steal and Remove Curse. There's only one of each in this key though. Uh, the first one is Spell Steal. It is the Ore Elementals. They have this granite shell that's as soon as they get in combat, um, it immediately like casts granite, sh granite shell. It just like spawns on them as soon as they're in combat. Um, so this, these are dispels that you need basically immediately at the start of combat. These are a massive help for the first boss for uh, Magma Tust, especially when this pull is right before the boss because these shields last two minutes. Um, and if you have, at least like in this pull, there's five of them right here. If you have five of these granite shells, I believe it's technically a little bit higher than that, what it's saying. Uh, I think it's around like 170k, but still 112k shields if you have five of them. Typically, it'll get you through at least one of the volatile mutations from the boss, if not two of them. Uh, just depending on your timing and how fast you kill the mobs after you spell steal it. Um, so these are very, very beneficial. After the granite shells, there are decurses. The only decurse is on the last boss on Warlord Sarga. Uh, and this happens whenever you pick up the treasures around the room it puts a curse on the target that does a dot over time um this is very helpful for you to have decurse on tyrannical weeks and obviously fortified um it's a little bit more important on tyrannical um you can try and have your group try and stagger them so that most people don't have all the decurses at one time um and typically the tank isn't someone that you really need to decurse because they'll be getting healed all the time anyways but uh, i would prioritize always deep always dispelling everybody else um so again this is pretty much a not entirely a mandatory, but I would like 99% recommend taking Decurse all the time in this, as well as Spell Steal just for the first boss. Now, the next key will be Notharian's Lair. There's actually nothing in this key that requires either Spell Steal or Remove Curse. Um, so, you don't need any of them for this key, barring what the affixes are for that week. Freehold, uh, this is basically a key that you don't need either of them for as well. However, there is a Spell Steal. Uh, it is healing balm and it's on these iron tide bone saws uh, so these are mobs that are just at the beginning of the key on healing balm just throws a balm at an ally and it heals them for the max health over six seconds five percent every second for six seconds not really a big thing because this is something that you can kick um, but if this does get off and you want a little bit of healing you can always spell steal this doesn't isn't really needed like i said but um, obviously can't help a little bit something you can be aware of after Freehold, there is Underrot, and Underrot is a key that I would recommend taking both Decurse and Spell Steal for. Um, so Spell Steals and Underrot are near the start of the key. There are these Devout Blood Priests. They cast Gift of Gahoon, which basically puts uh, a magic on the on one of the enemies that reduces or doesn't allow them to death. Or wow, I just said doesn't allow them to death. Doesn't allow them to die. Um, for 20 seconds, so this is something that you can dispel. Um, however, you don't actually get the buff yourself, uh, but this is something that you can play around with on like Sanguine Weeks. If there's a mob that like gif gets the gift of Gahoon, uh, and they're you know in the center of all the all the people, you don't need to like dispel it until they're like out of the group or some weird thing like that. Obviously, this is something that can get kicked, but if you do need to kill mobs, gift of Gahoon is something that you can spell steal. Um, like I said, it just dispels it. You don't actually get the buff yourself. After the Devout Blood Priest, the next one for Spell Steal is these Reanimated Guardians. They cast Bone Shield, which is a pretty hefty shield that I believe lasts for 12 seconds. Um, it's relatively short. It's, it's between like 10 and 15, uh, but it's a pretty hefty shield. There's not too much damage that actually goes out when you're fighting these mobs, um, so it's not too big of a deal. The only thing is it's, it's quite a bit of health for them. Um, so obviously dispelling it will help them, those mobs die faster. It's obviously beneficial in the aspect that the mobs die faster and you actually get the shield. Um, but the shield itself on you doesn't really do a whole lot because there's not really much damage going out here at all. After the reanimated guardians, the spell steal on those. The other, only other one, there's no other spell steals in this key, but there is a remove curse. And that is these blood sworn defilers. They have withering curse. Um, and so... This is something that you can obviously kick, so this is when you're fighting the mob, the, the two of them, you typically have your group coordinate the kicks for it. However, if a cache does get off, wait until, to wait to decurse until the cache is, com is, is fully completed, either it's interrupted or the cache has completed itself, um, because this basically, it stacks, like it says, it stacks every 2.4 seconds for 9.7 seconds. 
Um, so if you dispel it at one stack and the second stack comes on, it'll just be at one stack again, and then everybody else will be at two stacks. So it doesn't actually make you not have the buff. Um, so wait until to dispel if this actually goes off until the cast is finished um, or like completed in any sense. Um, but it reduces your damage, their damage taken, or increases their damage taken and reduces the damage you deal. Uh, so this is something that you should spell st or should remove curse if it actually gets casted. Um, but again, it really shouldn't get casted. But I take it just in case. Those are the only spell steals and decurses for Underrot. The next key is Vortex Pinnacle, and this is the last key. There is only spell steals in this key, and it's two mobs that you can spell steal. It is the Turbulent Squalls, which you encounter after the first boss. And they have Storm Shield, which activates. For my testing, it seems that it activates when they reach 50% health. Um, and it basically just does nature damage to enemies around it. Um, this is a pretty big thing for you to spell steal yourself. Uh, it does actually do damage to enemies because you do take it. However, it doesn't really do that much. But when you're in these groups that have eight, eight squalls or any high amount of the squalls, it does do a decent amount of damage if there's a lot of them at once. Uh, so I would recommend this. As well as it's also a little sh shield for yourself. Uh, the shield isn't too big, but obviously any shield is better than no shield. Um, so not only does it get the shield off of the enemy mob, but it also does some slight damage to them and reduces the damage that your groups take. So I would highly recommend spell sealing this. The, sorry, the second mob that has spell steals in this key are the Empyrean Assassins. And these assassins have Vapor Form, which if the cast gets off, is a 90% damage DR for 10 seconds. There are certain times where I would actually recommend letting one of these caskets off. If you chain pull these into the dragon into the dragon mob, I would recommend actually letting these vapor form cast get off because when the dragon does his icy buffet cast, if you have the vapor form on you, that cast basically does nothing to you since it's a 90% DR. Um, so these are it's a very beneficial spell to spell steal if it actually gets off. Um, not only do you get benefit from it, uh, it also just removes the debuff from the the mob and so they obviously will take full damage again instead of a 90 percent dr um, and that's all for that's all specific ones for this key for all of these keys and dragonflight season two other than that the only ones that you would need to be aware of are the affixes which there are two affixes that are pretty that mage is very well equipped to deal with and that's um afflicted and the incorporeal Um, so for Afflicted, this is the one that, you, uh, Afflicted requires you to take Remove Curse for those keys, um, because it basically puts, uh, it, it puts, I believe it's a curse, a poison, or a disease on the mobs, and obviously mages are able to take Remove Curse, which helps with those. Um, it's obviously very, it's pretty much required for any time you're doing these keys, um, so there, it's obviously you get benefit because if you're running these keys, um, with afflicted and as well as a key that already has a decurse on it, uh, you don't really lose any value. You don't really lose much value at all anyways from taking remove curse because typically in your class tree, what you're going to be taking is, uh, at least per my personal preference is I typically take, I typically take like one of these, either one to spell steal or decurse. Um, if I go through like the talents that I typically take. I'll take something like this uh, and you can obviously remove around things that you want so if you don't want like invis speed isn't really needed as a defensive um, so you can like take these off if you need remove curse if you don't need spell steal you can take out spell steal um, you can take both of them if you want you can add more defensive things if you want to drop both incantation of swiftness things um, but you're pretty free to take to take remove curse and spell steal you don't act well you'll never actually lose throughput you'll just lose either some utility or a little bit of defensives um, but you'll never actually lose damage for taking these spells. Um, but again, yeah, for for spell steal and D and D curse, there's nothing for spell steal that you can do with the uh, with the affixes. But the afflicted is very good um, for remove curse um, since it basically helps the healer tremendously. Um, and then incorporeal, not having to deal with um, remove curse or spell steal it's a polymorph you can polymorph the ads um but that isn't, obviously doesn't have to deal with the uh, with remove cursor or uh spell steal um so kind of just a quick tldr for all of the keys again Brackenhide. i'll go over the ones that are kind of like required and ones that i'd recommend 
Uh, Brackenhide, I would recommend it. Actually, I'll go back to Halls first. Halls uh, basically are acquired uh, for the Shock Troopers, for the um, Element of Focus, if it ever gets casted. And then, not required, but recommended for Infuser Servia, Spell Steal. After Hells of Infusion, Brackenhide would highly recommend for a Trick Totem taking Spell Steal, Spell Stealing the Greater uh, Rapid Healing, and then not really needed for the Rod Hexers. Alderman, highly recommend taking both Spell Steal and Remove Curse. Um, re basically required for the Basilisks. Uh, very helpful on the Warders for the Earthen Ward, not required, but it is required for the Curse of Stone. And then the last mobs, the agent, it's not required, but very beneficial to you for, to spell steal hasten. And again, beneficial to you and to your tank to spell steal the stolen time off of the time reavers. And Nathoros, uh, beneficial to you and your healer to spell steal the shields for or elemental. So you have it for the first boss and then very beneficial for your whole group to have decurse for the last boss of Sarga. Notharian's layer, there's nothing. Freehold is, is it really required? Um, but you can spell steal the healing bomb. Doesn't really matter too much. Under rot, you can spell steal the gift of Cahoon from devout blood priests. Um, beneficial, not really a huge thing. You don't actually get the buff though. Uh, and then you can spell steal the bone shields. Beneficial to both you as a shield and your group because the mobs die sooner. And then remove curse on the blood sworn defilers. And then after under rot is vortex pentacle. Beneficial to spell steal the storm shield uh, to help reduce group damage, give you a shield, and do damage to the enemies. And then beneficial to you and beneficial to your group to spell steal vapor form. Again, gives you a DR and also make sure the mobs dies quicker if it gets off. Um, and other than that, that is all for the curses and spell steals for Dragonflight Season Two, uh, barring afflixes with afflicted. Um, but yeah, that is all for this. There is a Google Sheet that I will be putting in the description of this video um, from Maestral. Maestral basically went through and as well looked at decurses and spell steals. Um, the, spe the spreadsheet, if you guys prefer looking at something that's like written instead of like spoken, um, that's a gr great place to look. Uh, it also has some general tips for, for keys, things that you can, uh, like, you know, blast wave, dragon's breath, things you can create or invis to cancel the mechanic, things like that. Um, but it also has all of these spell steals and decurses. Um, so again, I'll put that in the description of the video and that'll be all for this. Thank you all for, uh, for tuning in and I hope you enjoy the content.